I'm Benjamin Beaver. Let's talk about interest rates. Okay, so interest rates. People are always talking about, oh, the rates are high, oh, the rates are low, the rates might go up. How does it actually affect you? Let's try to make it simple. So if you're buying a house for $200,000 and the interest rate is going up or going down by 1%, how does that actually affect you? So you take $200,000, uh, multiply it by 1%, or divide by 100 and then you get $2,000. So that's the extra amount per year that you're going to pay the bank back uh, while you have the loan. Interest rates are actually figured off your current principal balance, but we don't wanna to get too into the weeds. So that'll get you the gist of it. And then you divide that by 12 and your additional monthly payment going to be an extra $166 per month. So that's if you had a $200,000 house and your rate went up or down by 1%. So what interest rates actually are is they're figured off the Federal Reserve Bank and we know like in March of 2020, they went down to like zero or 0.25 and now banks can borrow money for a super low rate so they can now lend money for a, a, a low rate. We're never gonna see rates that are that low for home buyers, but at, when lenders have low rates, they can offer lower rates to us and vice versa. When the Fed rate goes up, that affects us by 0.25 or half a point or one point. So that's essentially the difference that it makes when you're borrowing money. And there's a lot more to discuss about it, but that'll get you started.